what's up guys, it's Eli Knight here with Knight Jiu Jitsu and I'm over here in Rock Hill at Red Wolf Martial Arts with my buddy Mike Mendoza and we've been doing some training today um, with Mike and Wayne and uh, we were doing some passing today, we we're talking about guard passing. So um, I want to go over some headquarters passing because this is a really helpful position. The main reason I like it is for this because like, let's look at this here, like if he's on his back and I'm looking to pass the guard, what's going to happen a lot of the time whenever I'm starting to go for like a knee cut or something, you run into this knee shield. So um, this can be kind of a pain. There's lots of good ways to pass it, but they're you know, theoretically really good, but it, it takes a lot of work and this is easy for him to replace. So headquarters gives us an option to kind of reset the position and get back here. And the headquarters essentially is where I'm kind of straddling his leg. I want to be in line. So I'm thinking about my spine lining up with his shin and I'm, I've got enough weight where he's not just going to elevate me. I'm not leaning over him hovering. I've got my other shin here kind of pinning this leg down. What's happening with our hands, we may be hand fighting a little bit. I may be controlling his shoulders or his head or whatever. And again, this also depends on the paradigm. Is it submission grappling? Is it gi no gi? Is it MMA? Um, so those all kind of change some of the things too. But the, the overall structure is something like this. Straddling here, and then I've got uh, several different options, but I'm gonna go over three of the biggest ones. And the, the three that I'm gonna center on is float passing, um, knee cut passing, and then uh, passing to dope mount. So that's gonna be determined by a couple things. How much of his knee is in front of me, how much of his foot is behind me, how off center, one direction or the other, is his shin to my spine, right? And those will be the, the determining factors. So the first thing is if he's got enough of his foot sticking out behind my butt, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna put my hands on the floor above his shoulders, and then I'm gonna pummel by kicking my foot to my butt. That's gonna hook my ankle to his ankle, like the instep to instep like that. And then I'm gonna pike my hips, almost like I'm gonna do a handstand, but just enough to clear my pelvis over his knee. And then I'm gonna pass straight to mount position off of that. That's a very simple uh, approach. Uh, of course, like with anything simple, the timing has to be on point, but um, that's gonna get you directly to mount from this position. Now, what happens if we get to that position though, and I try to pummel and it's just not there. His foot's too close to my butt. There's not enough for me to hook onto. Then I have to take into account, okay, well, where is his knee? Is his knee more this side of my spine? And if it is, I'm gonna directly cut straight back over for a knee cut position. So I'm gonna pummel my hand back to create an underhook on this side. I'm cutting through and I'm completing my knee cut pass here. I've got my underhook established. I wanna pick this arm up and I'm gonna walk up over his head so he doesn't immediately off balance me. I don't wanna do a knee cut and land in a lazy scarf hold position and just have him push me over. That's a common mistake that I see on knee cuts a lot of the time. So I wanna make sure that I have a good solid position. So we have the float pass straight to mount. We have the knee cut to uh, modified side control. Um, and then we also have from here, if I feel like his knee is floating more to this angle on this side, that's gonna give me a different kind of knee cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this knee behind his quad and I'm gonna cut to this angle over here. So essentially, we're landing in this position. I want my knee close to his body, not far out where he's gonna shove me back away. But we're gonna get here nice and close. And we generally refer to this position as, as dope mount from here. Um, how we clear this position, well, depending on what we want, I may go here and collect his upper body and then use my legs to pummel and try to get past to mount or to clear to side control. Or if it's like more MMA type rules, then I may just like sit here and keep his, his hips pinned up while we throw some punches and strikes in here. So um, lots of good options from any of those landing positions. And again, that's headquarters position where we go either float pass to mount, knee cut to side control, or knee cut to dope mount on the other side. So um, anyway, guys, I hope this helps your passing game. And if you're ever in the Rock Hill area of North Carolina, or North yeah. Carolina, right? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina, right the on the border. border. All right, so <laughs> Rock Hill. Come to Red Wolf Martial Arts, guys. It's the, the main Muay Thai Association, too. Yes, sir. So great kickboxing, good jiu-jitsu, everything. So appreciate awesome. it, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Um,